I am Beth, your resident music nerd, back with a deconstruction from Les Mis. Or Les Mis? Or Les Miserables? Look, no matter how you pronounce it, everyone knows what you're talking about. However, you may or may not have known that this musical was originally a French concept album written by Alain Boubli and Claude Michel Chambeur, who were later approached by Cameron McIntosh, who had learned of the concept album thanks to, to a director named Peter Farrago. And after two years of development, an English version of Les Mis, with lyrics written or translated by Herbert Kretzmer, opened at the Barbican Centre in London in October of 1985. It was set for a three-month run, and although critical reviews were negative, the general public loved it, showed immense love and support, and the show was sold out, and you could say the rest is history. I love today's version of Les Mis, and I love the original concept album. So today is all about highlighting the development of the music through three productions. The original French concept album, the English 10th anniversary concert, and the English 25th anniversary concert. And we're going to go about this by deconstructing and comparing sections of the song Look Down or Paris 1832 throughout the different versions. So starting with Donne Donne, which is the title of Look Down from the original French concept album, we're going to start out with the intro. Now Donne Donne literally means give, give. It's the, beg the beggars asking to be given food, given money. I want to highlight the drums, bum bum, that happen with almost every single beat of the intro, as well as this clang that makes me think of workers striking hammers. There's also strings pulsing on one note, as well as strong droning brass that happens once the ensemble comes in, and this entire intro leads into Gavroche's entrance. So, without further ado, the French concept album. I love Gavroche. So this tempo gives me a very gritty, drudging, beaten down feel. You really feel the desperation of the beggars. Moving on to the 10th anniversary concert, the beginning is a little different because we're transitioning out of the previous Thénardier scene, so you have some creepy high strings hanging out on a third before the famous look down melody, and you also have some orchestra octaves playing the da 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 Thénardier melody before a cymbal crash brings you into the main melody, unlike the to, unlike the concept album. There, the clang is still there, but it's much louder and much more in the forefront, and I really appreciate how the ensemble holds out the words feet and street to hit the T in, in time with the clang. So feet, street. There's also more instrumentals doubling the melody than in the concept albums to make a more full sound. So let's compare with the 10th anniversary.
So, as you may have noticed, this version's intro is shorter than in the concept album. The tempo is approximately the same, perhaps slightly sped up, but the instrumental portion of the intro is greatly reduced. The concept album has a 1 minute and 14 second intro, whereas the 10th anniversary has a 43 second intro. I would say that the 10th anniversary pushes the song a bit more, making it fuller and louder, while the concept album is more dark and gritty, and I can only describe it as rhythmically pushing downwards punching downwards rather than punching forwards. Now, moving on to the 25th anniversary concert, I don't want to say anything. I'm just going to make some hand motions, some arm motions, and we're going to listen to this together. Um, you are going to hear a noise at the beginning, and that's just applause because it was recorded live. But let's just listen to this together and see what happens. sound. The 10th anniversary was getting there in terms of a wall of sound, but this concert took it to a new level. We have the clang hits replaced with loud cymbal crashes. We also have the droning brass, which is there, but so much more in the forefront. And there's just, there's more sound all the time. It's just, there's creating a wall of sound coming at you. I also like in this version, the ensemble bites the words feet in street, feet, street, rather than holding them out longer. I get the feeling that this performance, in this performance, like, all the beggars are ready to fight. They don't sound as desperate, they actually sound really angry. And this intro is even shorter than the previous two, clocking in at 30 seconds. Not only is it sped up, but it has even more cut out of the instrumental section. Now we're getting into what I call the bridge of this song. In the concept album, there is an extended instrumental portion that develops on the look down theme. So it starts out with the classic minor look down, but then it goes into a very sped up major version. Bum 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 ba da 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 with this underneath. So it sounds like bum 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 ba da 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 bum 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 ba da 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 da, and I just love that so much. We then get some rhythmic strings bum 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 ba before going back into the look down theme again with this chromatic drone underneath, and then also. And if you've seen my other videos, you know that I love chromatics, so I just love this section so much. So here is the middle, the bridge, of the concept album. And I hate to skip all of Gavroche's parts to go to the bridge, but you can research the song on your own. Here it is. <laughs> Yes, that was Ange Ross, and we will come back to him. Now, in the 10th anniversary concert, I'm just gonna have us listen to the middle, and then we'll talk about it afterwards. Here it is. Different. So instead of going into Angelos' entrance, we get the beggar women fight. And that's very different, and that's because the structure was fundamentally changed going from the concept album to the English version. So in the original concept album, 
where are my notes? Um, we have the intro, the look down chorus, a gavroche verse, another look down chorus, another gavroche verse, the bridge leading into Angeras' speech, another gavroche verse, another look down verse, and then we go into the Thénardier plotting section, which is where we first meet Eponine and Marius. Now, in the 10th anniversary, and what we now know as the current Les Mis version, we have the intro, the look down chorus, a gavroche verse, another look down chorus, the bridge leading into the street women fight, and Angeras' and Marius's intro, and then another look down verse. So it's interesting to see how things have been changed, as well as this bridge, this version was very shortened. Now, let's go into the 25th anniversary concert. Alright, so... The bridge was completely erased. It just went straight into... The beggar women fighting. Alright. Now, to close out today's analysis, I want to talk about Angeras' introduction. In the concept album, Angeras is sung by Michel Sardou, who is a very famous and popular French singer. The gist of this section is the same. Angeras is saying, thankfully, there are those above who, sit, who talk about the people below, and we have a friend in General Lamarck who sometimes speaks up for us, but he's sick, what's gonna happen when he goes away, when he dies? It's very similar. However, there is this very poetic line in there that I love. It's, Paris resembles a volcano ready to spew the lava of her fury. That's so awesome! Um, the line, the word that is used is actually vomir, which is literally to vomit. So I think it's a little more poetic to say spew the lava of her fury. And also, disclaimer, this is a very literal translation. I'm sure you could find more official translations out there. But I just love that line so much. It's so poetic. It's so cool. It's got a very good imagery. And also, Michel Sardou gives it his all. So let's listen to Sardou singing as Aldros. Heureusement que chez les gens de la haute, il y en a un qui regarde en bas. On a le général Lamarque qui parle un peu de nous parfois. Il paraît qu'il est bien malade. Qu'est-ce qu'on fera quand il s'en ira Avec les meutes déjà qui grondent, ma vie ressemble à un volcan prêt à vomir la lave de sa colère. Enfin So cool. He just gives it us all. It's such a, it's such a great performance to listen to. Now, moving on to the 10th anniversary concert. In the concept album, we were only introduced to Angeras as the main revolutionary, which is more accurate to the novel, whereas in the 10th anniversary, as part of the structure change, both Angeras and Marius make the revolutionary speech. So I'm just going to play the first couple lines so you can hear Michael Maguire as Angeras and Michael Ball as Marius. Of the land, where are the swells who run this show? Only one man, and that's Lamarck, speaks for the people here below. Now, keep that in mind while we move on to the 25th anniversary. Where are the leaders of the land? Where are the swells who run this show? Only one man, and that's Lamarck. Did you catch the switch? So, in the 10th anniversary, Angeras sings first. He sings Where are the Leaders of the Land, and Marius follows. Well, in the 25th anniversary, Marius opens with Where are the Leaders of the Land, sung by Nick Jonas, and Angeras, sung by Ramin Karamlu, sings Only One Man, That's Lamarck. It's the opposite. I don't know why that one switch was made, but it is interesting to notice the change in that one little moment, as well as many other moments in 30 plus years of Les Mis productions. We could spend more time making even more comparisons, but I've had enough of comparison for one day, and this gives you a reason to research the concept album on your own. So until next week, liberté, égalité, fraternité! Je vous ai vu au Luxembourg.